Hi, this is John Leslie, VP Product and Agile Advisory at Favreau, and I'm going to show you a couple of the newly released features relative to timelines and road mapping in Favreau. Those new features are the ability to add swim lanes to the timeline view, and also the ability to add additional data, view additional data, in the timeline view. So how does this come in handy? I'm going to show you two use cases. The first one, a product roadmap, and the second one, a portfolio for maybe a central digital products team showing their initiatives on a timeline. So first of all, in this sample product roadmap, you can see we're using swim lanes to clearly identify which features are coming in which release, like so. To do this, it's as simple as going up here to the board menu, layout, add lane. Once you have those lanes created, to add an additional lane, you can simply do that down here, maybe release three, like so. To add features to this roadmap, it's as simple as maybe opening up your backlog, taking one of these features, and dragging and dropping it onto the timeline, like so. Adjusting the dates on that card, on that feature card, as you're doing this. So that's one example of how to use swim lanes in the timeline view. Another example would be maybe for this digital platform portfolio where they're working with multiple studios, driving initiatives through those multiple studios. So here in this particular example, we have Studio One and their initiatives and Studio Two and their initiatives. If we wanted to add an additional initiative to a team. Again, it's as easy as maybe opening up this backlog of goals broken down into initiatives, taking one of them and saying, okay, this is something that should be driven by Studio 2, like so. You can also see in the swim lanes, you have the ability to display data directly in the swim lanes. Here, for example, we can compare the overall scope of work assigned to this particular studio versus their available capacity. We can visualize tags such as this. You can also see the timeline that this particular timeline view represents relative to that studio. Now also newly released is the ability to see additional data, including custom fields in the timeline view. This is especially useful if the main consumption of data for a particular maybe portfolio team or program team, is through a roadmap or timeline view like this one. So now on the fly, they can toggle on things like relations, members, time on board, statuses, as much or as little information as they desire, and then quickly toggle that off just as easily. Now, if you wanted to save different views, maybe a detailed roadmap view versus a simplified roadmap view like this one, it's as easy as going to this dropdown saying add view, add another timeline view. And you can see I've already done that here where I've simply saved those toggled view settings to now a detailed view as opposed to the easily toggleable roadmap simplified view like this one. And lastly, I'd like to show you the ability to feed specific swim lanes even in the timeline view via automations. For example, if this particular initiative, Initiative Anti-Cheat Mobile, was tagged to Studio One, we could have an automation that automatically fires off and specifically feeds that initiative to the Studio One swim lane over here on this roadmap view. To do that was very straightforward. If I open up automations, we're simply saying when a card field changes, when the tag Studio One is added to any one of those initiatives, automatically add that same card to the digital platform initiatives Kanban to that specific swim lane. And there you have it. Some nice new functionality added to the timeline view, very specific to road mapping in Favreau.